Hey all, it's been a while since I've done a vlog, mostly because it's been quiet. <laughs> Either quiet or I've just been doing other things and just not been in the mood. So I figured it's high time I actually did something. So, I'm in the kitchen because I've been playing with this Acer Aspar. Only because I actually needed it the other day and it didn't want to work, it was just dead. Which wasn't a good thing, because I was already getting pretty agitated because the one in the lounge packed up again. Exactly a week after it packed up last time. And on both times, Cat's Custom Trikes was here. So I'm going to blame her. That's her fault. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just, you know, one of those cases where just shit happens, basically. But it's working now. But I do seem to have an overheating issue. I'm noticing the fans are spinning up more than they used to and I do have quite a small cooler on there. So what was with the motherboard when I got the computer I never changed it. I think I re-thermaled it because I usually do that with any computer I get anyway because it doesn't hurt to re-thermal it because you don't know its history, you don't know when it was last done you don't know if it's ever been done since it came out of the factory so I like to, you know, just, uh, forgot to move my bins, to redo them anyway, just add due course. So I actually took this one back into the bedroom and slammed it on the drawers and temper and broke a plastic foot off. Brought it back through here later once I'd calmed down and got mine working. Plugged it all in and it actually worked. Um... So, I actually don't know, I don't know if I jogged something or scared it. <laughs> but it's working now, and I've also got rid of this. The washing machine has gone, because I don't use it. It's been sitting there idle for at least three months, maybe four months. It didn't smell, I checked that before I um, sold it, it wasn't smelling, so. But yeah, that finally went yesterday, so. I stuck cash into my bank account and paid uh, one of my debts, paid a bit more off of that. You tart. Because um, I actually miscalculated last week when I got paid. I don't know, it wasn't intentional, but I'd had it all worked out. And I ended up with less for shopping than I thought I did. And that's with selling a bike. And I don't know how the hell I managed to... Somehow I'd managed to spend a bit more than I'd actually thought. Um, but that's not, that wasn't a problem. I've still got a bit of cash now. And I've got plenty in the cupboards anyway. So it's not a big issue. Um, I had a <laughs> when I got back from the bank... I found three bicycles sitting out back by the shed and I'm just like where did they come from? <laughs> um, this one's the one I've got up here it's an Apollo I can't get the other ones up here because I haven't got the room one's a kid's bike I'm just going to take a few bits off that and skip the rest it's, the rest of it's not worth it kids bikes are just not worth the hassle to be honest because they just don't really sell um, so I've got this, it's an Apollo 4100 tracker, according to the labels. Um, and considering it's a one of them low-end sort of budget brand bikes, it's actually in pretty good nick. The rust is, well, basically mostly on this front wheel. Back one's not too bad. Front one, it's a lot of surface, but it's not rotten. So I'll, I will try and find some wheels for this because I want to keep it. Simply because I haven't had a hybrid for a while. Well, if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, then eventually I might sell it on if I get bored with it. But I would like to have a hybrid again. And the frame is actually in pretty good. The frame is in good nick. And the stickers, they haven't even peeled off yet. Which is amazing. Because going by the style of brakes this has got. And the gear levers and everything. It's either really low end and they were using old gear up. Or this is actually a bike from like the 1990s, maybe 1980s. I don't know. 
I'm going to guess 1990s. I know Apollo have been around for quite a while. I'm going to try and Google the name. It even tells you the speed there. Look at that. 12. But I definitely want you to know it's an Apollo. It's got Apollo there. It's got an A there. Apollo there. Apollo there. Apollo there. Shimano equipped. That should not be at that angle, so I've got to sort that out. It looks like things have got twisted. It looks like that might be broken. If it is, it's not a problem. I can change that easily. I've got spares. Um, it doesn't seem, aside from sorting out that derailleur and the uh, front wheel, because the rim tape was all popped out. Don't know if they're punctured. I'll take the front wheel out, sort that rim tape. I'll cheat, I'll use PVC tape, electrical tape, that actually makes good, cheap um, rim tapes. I'll just go around the wheel twice with some PVC electrical tape and it's never failed me, so... It's cheaper than going out and buying the proper stuff. Believe me, I've seen the prices of it. <laughs> you know, you're sort of looking four, five, six quid for a pair of um, rim tapes when you can get a roll of PVC tape for 99p. And probably do bikes like this. You could probably get three bikes done, six wheels, and it works just as well. <laughs> so, anyway, that bracket will come off. I don't need that. Someone's put two brackets here together, so I'll just take this bit off. I'll leave that bit on because I'm going to put dynamo lights on it. It's actually tempting to reuse this one, actually. And put a reflector down there. Hmm. <laughs> I might bolt a light on there and just see what it looks like. If it looks too daft, then I won't. I'll put it down there. Because that is the sort of traditional place to stick it. I'm going to go ahead and change gear cables. They're rusty, but they're not breaking up yet. Um, this one actually works pretty fine. See, the drain is still moved, so the cable's working fine, but it's rusty, and the left side gears, or the front gears, won't move anyway. Drailia will. Cable won't, so that's actually C, so needs replacing. Brake cables need a bit of work, but I think I can breathe life into these, ex these um, existing cables. But we'll do videos on these. Well, I'll do, I'll do a series of little videos. When I pick a repair to do, I'll do a video on it. I've already done a tutorial on installing dynamo lights, which actually got a good number of views and a good response, actually. But uh, normally I wouldn't give a bike like this, you know, the time of day, because it's not worth a great deal if I sold it on. And besides, because of the DWP and their friggin' rules now, I can't sell it on anyway. Because they could get bloody well. If someone reports me, he's running a business. No, I'm not running a fucking business. If it doesn't suit me or I don't like the bike, it gets sold. All other bikes get kept. Hence why I've got, if I count these three, about 13, 14 bikes now in total that are mine. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't want to sell any of them. Uh, yeah, the frame's not tidy. Make sure those oh, the forks are okay. I've had bikes where they've been either crashed or ghosted into a wall, which is where they run, r run with them or ride with them as fast as they can, jump off them or let go of them. They crash them straight into a wall and it bends the fork straight under. But uh, that's why I always sort of check. It should be dead straight through here. Should be dead straight with that bit. Should all be in line. The only bit that should be curved is at the bottom there. There's no loose bearings. Not that I can feel. I haven't checked the back wheel yet. But bottom bracket's fine. Headset feels fine. I'm not hearing any grinding in there. So it obviously isn't dry. So I don't have to worry about that. If I could hear like my black and silver... Um, I can't remember what brand of bike it is now. <laughs> I've forgotten. But the other black and silver mountain bike I've got, um, that was actually making a grindy noise in here, gritty noise, which is why I re-greased them eventually when I finally got the bloody bearing cone and locked that off. 
Never had one that put up a fight like they did. Oh, it's part of the rim tab. I wonder what the hell that was hanging off of there. There's all these front light brackets, but nothing on the rear. Something's... Ah! Looks like there was an LED or something on there looking at that. Or maybe reflectors or something. Hopefully if I can get these off, I was going to put a mudguard lamp on here. But if not, I've got just some ordinary dynamo lights I can chuck on here. I don't know why, I just like them on the older bikes like this. And I'll find a battery light to shove on it as well. And this old alloy carrier I'm going to keep. Needs a bit of tightening up though. It's a bit loose up the top here, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a bit loose everywhere, so... Um, my friend was actually coming home past the tip, what we call the tip, it's the recycle centre, and the, obviously someone had been down there, got there too late when the recycle centre had closed and just dumped these in the hedge, all three of them. So he just stopped, picked them up, threw them in his van and dropped them off here. So I think it's daft, but someone would do that. You know, just take them home and come back. Don't fly tip like that. Or put them up on free cycle because the other one isn't a Phillips ladies bike. Um, really old. A very old one. It's like my old Hercules and the Royal Enfield that I've got. Ooh, thank you Nemo. He's just used his... Tr I think he's going into competition with me. Jesus. <laughs> so yeah got a little project there I'm going to get the ladies one up and running then I might try and sell it I don't know I haven't actually decided what to do with that one yet it's extremely old you know it's black so you're prob we're probably looking at sort of 40s maybe maybe 50s something like that you know when the, you could have things in any colour as long as it was black as Henry Ford apparently once said <clears throat> uh, uh, pardon me um, yeah my hemorrhoids plying up again uh, the only other thing I've been doing is just building buildings for my Lego town. I've got a couple here. I've got that, this which I've sort of based on a typical British three-story townhouse. Some of them have four. And that's what I've based that on. Then I've got that little bungalow over the back here. I'll just move my claw machine out of the way with a nice porch on it. That started off, I don't know if I actually showed it on camera. This is like a white box with a bathroom and a living area with a kitchen in it, basically. That's all it was. And I just kept expanding it and expanding it like I did with this one and that one and that one. Most of my houses, actually. And uh, ended up with a quaint little bungalow over there. Not sure what to do with this black one. I don't like it. Mm hmm don't actually like that black house there because I based that on a townhouse as well but I think that's four story if I count that little bit at the top I don't know, I might come up with something different with that one but uh, I am happy with pretty much all of my buildings that I've done so far there's still some that I need to oddify, need to oddify modify, not oddify Totally missed the letter off somehow. How did I manage that? Oh, look at this. Built a custom ambulance as well. If you look, it's one of those with the wide box at the back. How a lot of ambulances here in Britain are made and some in the Euro Europe. And especially in America, they base them on or build them on this sort of style. That's what I based this one on. 
but I did kind of cheat because I used that front end design which was used on an existing Lego set 4431 the ambulance see mind you I did modify it by putting the blue lights and the grill on the actual set doesn't come with those here it is I've got another one here oh I've done the same on that one <laughs> I've done exactly the same mods to this one oh okay then I've done that I thought I'd left that one original. Uh, and due to the fire in town, I got inspired to build my own little fire control unit. I don't know how accurate I managed to get it, at least inside equipment-wise. I sort of guessed, because I have no idea. So, that is also based on that ambulance similar front end. <laughs> If I had another windscreen, I'd have built another one of these, but done it in like an American colour, like done it in red, as a lot of fast service ones are over there in red. You stink cat, you really do. That is freaking awful. Normally I don't get to smell it, because he does that sort of thing when I'm asleep. So, you know, by the time I wake up, his smell has just, you know, dissipated into the atmosphere. Not tonight. <laughs> well, I've got myself a multimeter. A new one. $9.99 out of Lidl. Um, it's the same sort of low grade one as the yellow one I had that died and this yellow one. Except the only difference is that's a cat. Two, what they call a cat two and that one's a cat three um, you can get them a little bit cheaper than that on eBay and they work just as well as this thing but these ones you can get like well they all look the same but they might be in different color plastics and have a different name on but they're all the bloody same thing QDs do a grey version of these I can't remember if they're $4.99 or $5.99 something like that this one's just physically bigger, bigger screen, separate on off switch, whereas you have to turn the dial on the other one to turn it on and off. A hold button, so when I take the reading I can press the hold button and keep it there. And it's got a few other features and longer test probes as well, and bad test probes actually from the look of it. So for the extra sort of five pounds you do get a lot more extras and you get this stand at the back as well. So you're just paying for those extra features, really. Other than that, they're just the same. Actually, the yellow one has a transistor tester. This big red one doesn't. But it's got a sine wave generator. It can generate a square wave. Which I don't think I'll ever use, because I don't do that sort of thing. I'm not that deep into electronics. I just need something when I'm tinkering with my, you know, kit circuits that I sometimes get, just to... Perhaps troubleshoot or, well yeah, troubleshoot so I know I've got the right voltages and they're in a break in a circuit and to check batteries basically, that's all I use them for. Not professional grade, so if I was an electrician I wouldn't use one, I would actually get a high end one. I have no idea why I'm coming back in here. I think I need to have a sort out and tidy up in this bedroom tomorrow. A little motherboard. Actually, I think I've got two motherboards that need to go back in the cupboard. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to open up my PC and change the heatsink in it. Because the one that came with it I never changed. I can't remember if I put fresh thermal paste on it when I got it or not. But even though I wasn't doing a great deal with it earlier, I could hear the fans sort of speeding up and slowing down and ramping up, ramping down and whatnot. And it shouldn't be doing that, so... But it has got... <coughs> excuse me. Quite a small, as in not very deep, heat sink on it. I mean, this one's actually bigger and deeper. 
So I'm thinking, possibly cleaning that one up, or having a look in my box actually. That's more like the one that's on it. You know, no copper pad on the bottom, whereas that one has, which will be good for heat transfer as well. Um, yeah, I'll have a look in my box actually, see if I've got anything else. Because if I haven't actually got anything that's going to be bigger and or better, and they then I may actually have to invest in one. Right. I'm going to pour myself a fresh drink, I think. Uh, is there anything else? Anything else I've got that I want to show you? Not really. <laughs> I haven't done anything else with the Lego tables. Because I haven't been to Mum's to get that last board cut. And I keep forgetting that I've got to screw the other shelf down. And I've got two more cars here. Nearly forgot about those. I've got two of these. I've got another one here. Reason being, I bought this one first and... Uh, yeah, the box is damaged. And I didn't know that. Or didn't notice until I got home. Which isn't a problem. I can stick that on eBay or go donate it back to them or something. I might actually donate it back. Got some CDs here that I'm going to donate to them anyway, so... Uh, but the other one they had was in a better box, so I just went back the next day and grabbed that one. But uh, typically, now that I've decided to do this, none of the shops in town that sell toys are actually stocking the Hot Wheels single cars. Which has kind of ticked me off. Because I've only got that other shelf to fill, you know, and there isn't that many more to buy to actually complete it. <sighs> if I bought them on eBay, that's going to be expensive. Because not only would you be paying collector's prices, but even if people were selling them just as toys like that, they're going to up the price to cover eBay fees. So either way, it's going to be more expensive. Then again, by the time I paid a train fare to go to Norwich, I might as well go buy them on eBay. <laughs> Mind you, buying them on eBay does not get me out of the flat, does it? But I don't know. We'll see. I already need to get to the city at some point, I think. Um, I'm watching a lamp on eBay, but I'm not sure I'll get it. I'm just watching it at that. I would love to get it because it's a doorman and I love doorman lamps. But considering how rare it is, and I've got a 99p start on it, but like I said, considering how rare it is, and I've got a funny feeling as someone's already bid on it, it's someone from the collector's group. We're going to be bidding against each other. <laughs> um. But it's actually one of the collectors on the group that have started a new eBay account specifically to sell his, you know, the lamps that he doesn't want, basically, or duplicate lamps and whatnot. Because he usually buys in bulk. Um, so he keeps it separate from his business account on eBay. Which makes sense, really. So, I'm just watching that lamp just to see. He may have even put some more up, I haven't looked. I haven't checked the price of this lamp. It's got nine days left, so by the time I get paid next week, I'll be able to pay for it. But I've got a feeling, because it's Dorman, because it's from Australia, and because it's rare, the price is going to shoot up. So I'm not actually expecting to get it. But like I said, sometimes it's fun watching them like that just to see what they fetch. Let's just have a look. I can show you that before I shut the camera down. Shit, 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 shit. <coughs> Pardon me. I am watching this one simply because it's got the old school telecom symbol on it. I have the lamp. I have this style of lamp. I've got two actually. There's one over there. Look. 
that big yellow thing over there is one of these. As you can see, this has got the old telecom symbol on it. The one on the floor has got the BT symbol, so I'm watching this. If I can get the cash together, I'll get it. It's not a bad price, I don't think, for that. I mean, it does look as new. Okay, that's got damage on that bit, but... But it does have a rarity value to it, to a collector like me, because I've never seen one with the telecom symbol on it. Before BT changed everything. Right, that's not the lamp I want to show you. Bum, 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 bum. You may have actually ended it if it's. Uh, I think you might have because it's not on page two either. If he's had a decent offer. Two bids, £10.50, and it's been ended. Yeah, that's the one I wanted, but obviously, as it's been... I didn't want to actually delete that yet, because I wanted to go to his channel. What did that go for? 35 quid. Was that it? I could have bid on that, then. Has he dropped the freaking price on these yet? Because I'd buy them, but I'm not... Willing to buy them for 70 quid. No, he's still trying to sell them for 70 quid. You drop that price by a tenner, then I might be interested. Until then, not interested. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to end this video and get it edited up and get it onto my Patreon. A fluff barb here as well now look. Move along. That's it. If you go in that space, here you go. And sit on my keyboard. Right, anyway, <clears throat> a friend linked me to a, they call a Your Character Here commission. They want $1,200 for it. No chance. I'm not paying that to have someone draw my character. And they, looking at the um, sample thing, it looked about average to other decent artists that charge a hell of a lot less. But anyway, it's just my opinion. I wouldn't pay that sort of money. No doubt someone would. Anywho, I'm going to end the video, so thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, as always, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. Bye!